North Carolina, Duke. Chapel Hill, Durham. For as long as there's been college basketball, this rivalry, it seems, has had the ability to bring in even the most casual of the sports fans. This Tobacco Road showdown between two North Carolina powers, separated by less than 10 miles, has featured over 240 games and countless top moments in the ACC. We'll highlight some of the best between the Tar Heels and the Blue Devils on this edition of Stadium Rivals. January 24, 1920 marked the first matchup between Duke and North Carolina. The teams would meet at least once a year ever since. With the establishment of the Atlantic Coast Conference in 1953, 49 of the 78 regular season championships have gone to either the Tar Heels or the Blue Devils. And in all of the NCAA, Carolina ranks third in wins, with the Blue Devils coming in fourth. So when did the rivalry become the game's premier matchup as we know it today? Many give credit to one moment in 1961 for the heat that ignited this rivalry. The earliest inkling of a rivalry between the schools occurred on February 4, 1961. A hard foul on UNC's Larry Brown by Duke's Art Heyman resulted in a huge brawl between the two teams. The bad blood has been palpable in these battles ever since. But it was the explosion of cable TV in the mid-80s that pushed this rivalry into the galactic levels it enjoys now. With two of the game's all-time top coaches on the bench, Duke's Mike Krzyzewski and North Carolina's Dean Smith, overseeing the start of the modern era of this rivalry. North Carolina had a man named Michael Jordan for this game in 1983, and Duke had no answer. The proverbial GOAT dropped 32 points, 7 rebounds, and 5 assists in this one, perhaps his best game against the Blue Devils, foreshadowing his future dominance of the sport. UNC had owned Duke and Coach K, who took over the program in 1980, but in 1984 he grabbed his first signature win over the Tar Heels. UNC was undefeated in ACC play and beat Duke twice in the regular season. Duke held its 40-32 halftime edge in the ACC Tournament semifinal, holding on for a 77-75 win over MJ in number one North Carolina. Christian Leitner closed out his senior year on March 8, 1992 with 26 points and 8 rebounds in an 89-77 win for number one Duke over number 16 North Carolina. Just a few weeks later, Leitner and the Blue Devils would win their second straight national championship. Dean Smith and UNC rose to number one in the country for this game against number six Duke in 1993. Donald Williams' 27-point performance led North Carolina to the 83-69 win. The Tar Heels would supplant Duke as national champions in the 1993 NCAA tournament. You'll remember this one from 1995. He missed it. Got to put it up. One second. Cable shot. That, of course, is Jeff Capel hitting one of the most iconic shots in this rivalry to force double OT. But what you may not know, UNC won that game 102-100 as Jerry Stackhouse and Rasheed Wallace each contributed 25 points in the win. Number 12 Duke was on a seven-game losing streak in the rivalry on January 29, 1997. This would be Trajan Langdon's moment for Duke, going off for 28 points in the 80-73 win. This would be Dean Smith's final season in the rivalry before announcing his retirement that October. Jason Williams, now known as Jay, was en route to Duke's third national championship in 2001. In this game against UNC from March 3rd, Williams ripped off 33 points, including seven three-pointers, to lead number two Duke to a 95-81 win over number four North Carolina. Roy Williams turned UNC's program around in two short years and came into this game in 2005 looking for its first outright ACC crown since 1993. With J.J. Redick and Sheldon Williams leading Duke, it was the Tar Heels' Sean May who stuffed the stat sheet with 26 points and 24 rebounds for number two UNC's 75-73 win over number six Duke. The Tar Heels would win a fourth national title later that month. UNC's Tyler Hansborough may have had better games against Duke, but this was his most memorable. After taking an elbow from Duke's Gerald Henderson, Hansborough ended up with a bloody nose, stoking more ire from UNC fans. He finished with 26 points and 17 boards in number 8 UNC's 86-72 win. In the 2011-2012 season, number 9 Duke came back from the dead. Down 10 with just over two minutes left on the clock, Duke went on an insane run, ending with Austin Rivers doing this. Who will take the shot? Will he make the bigger impact? 
Duke never let in the game till the very end, winning on UNC's home floor. A 13-point lead in the first half for Duke and a 10-point lead for UNC in the second half marked the momentum swings in this 2015 showdown. But it was Tyus Jones and his nine points over the final 126 of regulation that led the Blue Devils to OT and eventually a 92-90 victory. This is just a sampling of what Duke and North Carolina has meant for the state, the sport, and the sporting public as a whole. Collectively, they mark excellence in the ACC and in the game. UNC holds a 137-111 edge all time, ahead of a competition that's still alive and well heading into 2019. Fans of college basketball have to appreciate what the Tar Heels and Blue Devils have given the sport, making it an indelible matchup that we broke down right here on Stadium Rivals.